This is 013. I know this sounds stupid, but I can't find my way out of Balete Drive. Hold up. <laughs> my luck just changed. I check up ahead. Where are we off to, miss? The Philippines is a country where old wives' tales abound. One of them is that of a white lady who lurks dark street corners when the sun goes down. It may have stemmed from caretakers who use it as a warning to wayward children. But then again, it may very well be true. This is Ut, and welcome to another episode of Incredible Tales. Filipino legends abound of a white lady who roams the streets at sundown, but none more popular than the white lady of Ballet Drive. They say it's the restless spirit of a woman who died tragically, intent on claiming vengeance from any unsuspecting or unbelieving motorists, especially taxi drivers. I'm driving. Heart attack while driving. Mm -hmm. That's impossible. George was only 22. He didn't smoke, didn't drink, didn't do drugs. The doctors can't explain it. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Romel, I just started today. Oh, have a seat. I'm Arnold. Oh. Hey, this here's Bert. Bert. Nice to meet you guys. We heard you were getting married. Uh, yeah, actually next month. We're really trying to save up. You know, my wife, she wants a cute wedding. You know how girls are. And I will do everything to give that to her. Well, congratulations, man. It's about time we got some good news around here. Just be careful, Romel. You know what the old folks say, that those who are about to get married are prone to accidents. Oh, thanks, but I really don't believe in superstitious stuff. I'm a crossword puzzle type of guy, and if it's not logical, then it can't be true. I'd listen to Arnold. Better safe than sorry, right? And one more piece of advice. Once the sun has set, Make sure you stay away from Baleta Drive. Why would I even do that? That's a place where rich people live, right? Wait, you haven't heard of the white lady in Baleta Drive? Every taxi driver in the city knows that story. Although no one really knows how much of it is fact or fiction anymore. All I know is, those who believe, heed the warnings. And the ones who don't, live to regret it, if they live through it at all. It was 30 years ago. A pretty girl named Lynette from one of the wealthy families in Balete was out one night, probably waiting for someone to pick her up. But before her ride could arrive, two drunk men in a car came along. put a gun to her head and took her away. No one saw or heard what happened? The houses in Baleta were very far apart from each other in the early 70s. And the vacant lots, they were filled with tall grass and thick bushes. That's where they raped her and left her for dead. But they were wrong. Barely alive, Lynette managed to crawl out to the curb, saw a cab and hailed it. The driver stopped to let her in, but when he saw her condition... Help, help me! Sorry! morning, Renette was found dead on the road, just a few blocks from where she lived. That's a sad story, not a scary one. 
There's more. Just a few days later, Lynette's rapists surrendered themselves to the police one after the other. But both of them said she kept showing up in their dreams. And before the week was over, a half-crazed cab driver, after confessing to a priest, turned himself in. He said that the girl he accidentally ran over was alive and sitting beside him in his cab. It sounded like these guys were driven crazy by guilt, not by a ghost. Believe what you want, but to this day, the white lady continues to haunt Balete Drive to exact revenge on cab drivers. The minute you stop for her, your life's ruined. Sir Romel, no matter what happens, if you should find yourself driving in Balete at night, don't you stop for the lady in white. Just keep on driving and don't ever, ever look back. For if you do, she'll haunt you in your dreams until she drives you to your death. Anyone in the area? Over. Yeah, I'm in the area. This is 024, but I'm turning in for the night. What's the matter? Are you sick? Over. Nope. Get this. I drop off a foreigner from the airport to Balete Drive. Not only did I get myself a woven tip, but I may have found me a regular. In Balete Drive? Over. That's right, man. I don't know what's a big deal about this place, but this has got to be the easiest money I've ever made. Now the radio is busted. The minute you stop for her, your life's ruined. So Romel, no matter what happens, if you find yourself driving in Balete at night, don't ever stop for the lady in white. Just drive on and never ever look back. Or she will haunt you in a dream till she drives to death. <laughs> Crazy old wives tale. 024, are you alright? I lost you there for a moment. Over. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Mommy picked this really great wedding coordinator. He said that our wedding reception will be in pristine white with yellow and orange flowers. We'll have a DJ for the young ones and a retro band for the oldies. We made everything sound so beautiful. But babe, do you think we can afford it? Honey, I told you, if that's what you want, we'll find a way. Hey. I thought you said you were cool with your new job right now. But how come you've seemed so out of it since you got here? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, babe. It's just that I purposely drove past this woman who looks like she really needed a ride. And I totally ignored her only because she's, it was along Balete Drive. And one of the guys told me about this white lady ghost story. You know, I don't believe in crazy story like that. So now I'm feeling guilty and stupid. Like maybe I should have stopped for her. You know? Was she pretty? Huh? You know, that girl you didn't stop for, was she pretty? Because maybe that's why you can't stop thinking about her. Nah, you're pretty. Silly, way pretty. I just hope she was in big trouble. And I didn't tell. Otherwise, that would make me a big jerk. <laughs> Honey. The only way that you can be a total jerk is if you don't show up early on our wedding day or if you don't show up at all. So, just to be safe, don't go to Balete Drive anymore, okay? This 024, is anyone out there? Copy, is anyone out there? Static again. That's strange. I could have sworn the car radio was busted. Ramel, honey, what's wrong? 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. You're all sweaty. Nothing. What's wrong? Just a bad dream, okay? Just a bad dream. Dark street on a rainy night. That's all. Okay. There's no harm in playing it safe. Just drive past her and don't look back. Whatever happens, don't look back. I didn't believe him. It's all my fault. Shh, honey. It's nobody's fault, okay? Take it easy. Arnold and Bert were here a while ago. They said the cab company understands. It was all an accident, honey. The roads were very slippery. No, Percy. I wasn't imagining things. The white lady, I saw her. She's real. She was right beside me crying like she badly needed my help. Oh, honey, it's okay. It's okay. from the window. But sir, there's no way. We're on the 10th floor. Listen, you should have seen yourself after the accident. We weren't sure if you were going to make it. And you still want to go back to Baleta Drive? Guys, I can't explain it. My near-death experience changed me. Who knows? All I know is that I need to help this ghost be at peace. How do you know that's what she wants? What if you're just another taxi driver whose life she wants as payback for that cabbie who didn't help her? And what if she never leaves me alone until I do whatever it is she wants me to do for her? Certainly I don't want that white lady hanging around on my honeymoon night. Look, you almost lost your life. You may not be so lucky the second time around. Romel, there are just some things in this world that are better left unsolved. Hello, babe. Ramel, do you know how ridiculous you sound? We're two weeks away from our wedding and all you can talk about is a ghost. Can't you see you're hurting me just by being there? Babe, I love you. But please understand, I need to do this. Babe. Babe.
Hey, are you waiting for any passenger? Oh, sorry. I was waiting for someone but didn't show up. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead. I hope this means you've given up on the white lady altogether, huh? Not exactly. What? You should consider last night as a lucky sign. Hey, what's all this? <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Um, these are newspaper from 1977. I was able to charm an old librarian so they could lend them to me. I was hoping to find some answers to why Lynette continues to haunt Baleta Drive. I I've been gone to most of them, but no luck so far. You know, I'm almost sorry that I told you that story. It was supposed to be a warning, not an invitation. Listen, let it go before something worse happens. Seriously. Lynette and her boyfriend? Frank Verona, all charges against him were dropped after two men came forward and admitted to the crime? <coughs> What's it to you? I believe I was sent by Lynette. Who? What are you talking about? I think you have unfinished business with her, and you know it. She's still waiting for you. <laughs> you're crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. So many lives have been ruined. Some of them have died, all because of your broken promise. Don't you think it's about time you did something about it? I want you to leave. Right now. I will call the police and tell them that you are harassing a helpless old <coughs> man. <coughs> Fine. I'll just leave. <coughs> but just in case you grow a conscience, here's my card so you can contact me. could keep me from marrying you. I'm sorry, you were right. I guess it was the wedding jitter that made me so obsessed with such a crazy thing as a white lady. I'm sorry, too. I should have been more supportive of you, no matter how out of this world I thought it was. So let's just forget about it, okay? I love you. I love you. You should get that tonight in for Hello, this is Ramel. Who's this, please? After you came to the house, Lynette kept showing up in my dreams. It felt like I was going to lose my mind. I know how you feel. But listen, I just want to get this over with, okay? I promised my fiancé that after tonight, I'll have nothing to do with you or Lynette ever again. So why did you bail out on her anyway? I realized I wouldn't be able to give her the life that she was used to. And I didn't want that for her, because I loved her. So you decided not to show up at all? To keep her waiting for nothing? No! I mean, yes! I figured she'd get over it, you know? So which is it? Were you there or not? That's our song. Wait, wait, I'm not sure if I can do this. I'm too old relax, for this. Relax, okay? Wait. Uh, my heart. My heart can take this. Let me out of this taxi now. Let me out. Let me out. Relax, okay? Didn't you hear me? Stop the cab now. I'm trying. It's stuck. Lynette? <laughs> Lynette, I'm 
sorry. I wasn't there that night. I was just doing what's best for you. No, okay. I lied. I was there. I was on my way to you. But I started to have second thoughts. And then I saw the two men arrived in a car. And I saw that they had a gun. I got scared. What? You saw her and you didn't do anything? She saw me! She saw me hiding. She was calling out my name. I was too scared to save her. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. legend. The choice is yours to make, but the next time you find yourself driving alone at night in a dark deserted road and you see someone trying to stop you, which choice will you make? I'll see you on the next episode of Incredible Tales. <laughs> <laughs>